BLM is helping our connected strategy by giving us an infrastructure to use as kind of a central information source across the home. One common system that all of the functions can use in order to get the right information relevant to a project at the right time and ensure that everyone is, is using that same source. The efficiencies that we gain from that will enable our projects to move much more quickly and enable key decisions to be made in, in a much more efficient manner. Some of the technology advancements that we're making to innovate towards our vision, it has to do with better product and process management, the way as we manage our requirements, the way as we are transforming the data flow between engineering and manufacturing through better BOM management and allowing us to not only improve the design process, but also improve the quality levels and the service levels that we have. All those things together really help us not only to reduce our cost, but enables us to provide better information to downstream processes. We are becoming more and more global in the sense that we are using more and more of the same designs and technologies across multiple regions and multiple brands. So what we are trying to achieve with product data management has to do with configuration control and change control so that we don't end up with a proliferation that is a problem for our supply chain or even a problem from a branding perspective. As part of PDM, we're very excited about the most recent CBOM that we have added to our windshield application. A configurable bill of material allows you upfront to understand where you're going to proliferate and why. Tie that very tightly to the functional requirements of your product and control that. We're moving from spreadsheet-based to a software-based requirements management solution where we can actually see the requirements that are driving our product design, part design, and how they actually trace from the different levels of requirements from the voice of customer down to the system, subsystem requirements, and how they trace to the validation piece, and at the end, of course, how they trace to the part design. So the bit benefit is really on predictability on when we release a product to market. We can tell how many requirements were met by a given project or product and how many requirements should be met. And we understand the knowledge gaps we have. We're using things from the front end and we're letting requirements drive our architecture design. Our architecture design being manifested into overbuilt configurable bills of material, which then develop into e-bounds, engineering bills of material which then get translated into M-bombs, or manufacturing bills of material, ultimately into our service bills of material. When we think about bomb transformation, it really is changing how we work and letting us build on product design from the very first idea or concept all the way into final realized product that we sell. And it is everything, right, into how we think about our systems and how we develop those systems, translated into really how are we gonna manufacture those? And if we think about the build anywhere, manufacture anywhere, we really need to be thinking more than just what is the design. We need to think about how are we gonna manufacture this one design in multiple plants across multiple countries across this whole globe. So the way as our product lifecycle management strategy is helping with our digital transformation, enabling a very cross-functional and cross-regional collaboration space, BOM allows you to improve and reduce the time to market of the products that we make, giving us the ability to develop products at a faster pace, connect all the dots, all the way from the requirements to the testing that you do, to the validation that you do, to the details, to the reusability of the parts and designs that we have. Those are crucial things to do when you're creating a consumer experience.